Poll is all over that screen. Thank well, you, sir. Thank you, Lisa. Now, some folks out here were talking to me about, well, Selena was so talented from the time she was just a little girl. Um, how did she make it? How was she discovered? Got that answer for you. My next guest discovered her back in 1989 in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, walked up to Selena, introduced himself as a record executive. She didn't even believe you? Right. Is that the truth? Please welcome the president and CEO of EMI Latin, Woo! Mr. Jose Bajar. Now, did she think you were just coming on to her? I think she must have thought that. <laughs> you know, where did this old man come from? So, uh, yes, I had seen her perform and it was accidental. We were on our way out of the convention center. But I turned around and I saw her performing. And I was impressed enough that I was compelled to go backstage and introduce myself. And I said, uh, Selena, you know, I'm Jose from EMI, Capital EMI. And she said, yeah, right. <laughs> so, so I said, no, I really am. And I remember very vividly, she said, y'all for real? <laughs> yeah, she was very excited. And so a few minutes later, her dad came out and we met. And we had breakfast the next day and uh, the rest is history. I want to share with the audience a clip now from the movie that was inspired by your working relationship with Selena. Okay, that's it, we got that one down. That's a hit, and I always knew it. We got gold, gentlemen. You did know it, didn't you? Yes, I, uh, you know, she, she had something about her that could certainly captivate an audience. And, you know, we had just started EMI Latin, and I had promised the uh, chairman of the company that we were gonna find a Gloria Stefan, since I had worked with her prior to my going to EMI. And sure enough, uh, I saw Selena as this bicultural artist that had the ability to not only excite Latin audiences, but also Anglo audiences. And, and most Im even more importantly, is for the Anglo audiences to also be able to identify with her. And that's what she was about. You said she was a, a, like a blend of some of the big diva talents we know today. Who would you say? Yeah, she was a hybrid between Janet Jackson and Whitney Houston. Absolutely. She was an incredible performer. Would, would, would she, you know, the tragedy focuses headlines and the movie is drawing attention. Would she be um, as hot, as successful? I mean, the irony is that the music goes to number one after her death. Mm -hmm. Would that have happened anyway? Absolutely. Absolutely. What happened was she sold over three million CDs in this country uh, of Dreaming of You. And those people did not go out and buy three million units based on the fact that they felt bad that she had passed on. The, the album was actually a, a big, big hit. I just think that the tragedy expedited the process. But she would have been a huge star. Boy, what a loss for all of us. What a loss. She not only inspired us with her music, but she had this distinctive style about her, and everybody wanted to look like Selena. So when we come back, we'll get into uh, how she did it. Stay close. We've heard about the peeping Toms who've planted video cameras in store dressing rooms and hotel rooms to catch people in their most vulnerable moments. Are you outraged because you believe you've been the victim of a video invasion of privacy? If a stranger, neighbor, or business has caught you in what appears to be a compromising position on tape, we want to hear about it. So we were talking about uh, Selena's family and about her music. You cannot talk about this girl without talking about the way she looked, can you? <laughs> I mean, it was a total package. And the costumes, did the costumes all, the stage costumes, did she make them all? She made a predominant part of those costumes. Yes, she did. She stayed up really late, like I said before, doing it. She would have, she usually waited to the last minute, and it was because she would decide on this whole thing. She loved designing clothes. That's what she, that was like her second dream that she wanted to do. That's why she opened the stores. And she would design these things, and then she would have them made for her. And then she would get them back, and then go, Oh, but it's not exactly how I want it to be. So she'd go out, go to the Walmart, go get some sequins, go get a glue gun, and redo the whole thing herself. <laughs> she just had her own distinct style. Now, are the Selena boutiques, uh, they're still operating, right? Yes, they are. There's two of them, I believe. There's one in the Corpus Christi and then the one in San Antonio. San Antonio, right? Yeah. yeah. So that actually runs now. Mm -hmm. She's running the boutiques. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, the tragedy is that one of her trusted and loyal friends, the president of the fan club, was running the boutiques when the murder happened. And that woman is now spending a, a life sentence uh, charged with the murder of Selena. Good. Uh, what a betrayal. What a, what a betrayal. It really is. Jennifer, you look like you could have been born in those clothes, the way they were proven <laughs> on you on the stage. Were they fun to wear? Yeah, I was uh, lucky because our body types are really similar. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't have to do too much changing. And it was wonderful because in all my, the other movies that I've been in, I always have to you know, like hide my body, you know? And this was one where I actually got to celebrate it and, and, and show them what I got. She's yeah, like, no kidding. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we were appreciative of it too. <laughs> Hi, Constance. Um, I have a question. Which part of playing the mother were you more passionate about? Were you p more passionate about playing the younger mother or the older mother? Well, I, basically the core of Marcella, which is like, she's the most loving, open, giving, she's like a professional mother. I mean, she's really, really good at it. She's got it down. And um, her consistent emotional through line, that's really what attracted me. So it didn't matter whether I was old or whether I was young. I mean, I loved it all the way through. <laughs> we'll be right back with you after this. I would love to have you join us in the studio. So if you're in the Los Angeles area, please give us a call at 213-520-2708 for free tickets. Okay, audience, your turn. Get your hands up and let me see where the questions are. Watch your toes there, I'm so sorry. Hi. Jennifer Lopez, you have an eerie resemblance to Selena. Were you mistaken for her prior to, be cho um, prior, prior to being chosen for this part in the movie? No, not once. It was, uh, I think the, the hair and the makeup that we did for the movie, and there was times on the set when it, it, was, it was really pretty scary how the resemblance was, but not before. Yeah, I just want to say that I, I saw the movie, it was fantastic, you guys were great. Jennifer, I had a question. Um, earlier, Lisa said that you uh, sang and danced, and I was just wondering, did you do any of this singing in the movie? No, I didn't do any of the singing in the movie, most of it, uh, all of it, most of it. All of it was <laughs> Selena's voice. Except for three words that I did in a one scene where the, the stage was collapsing and I tell A B to play it slow and I say como la flor and that was me. Oh come on sing it. <laughs> I can sing it. <laughs> oh my god, please. just let it go. <laughs> She's like I was having a good no, time until that. you pressured me yeah. to do that singing. Yeah. No, I just went como la flor and that was it. <laughs> Debut. Now, um, I've heard rumors that people are approaching you, though, to do uh, records. She can sing great. She, yeah, I know. she sings really good. Um, well, it's something that I am definitely uh, want to do, and it's because I did this movie. I started my career in musical theater, singing and dancing, so doing this movie, after doing uh, years of film now, like three years, I just it, it reminded me how much I love being on stage, and that's something, uh, a gift uh, doing the movie of Selena gave me. Said I actually have a contract in the limo that I can give to Jennifer. <laughs> Sign it up now. Hi. Hi, this is a question for Constance. Um, I want to know if you can dance the cumbia for us. Now, is this the one that has the dishwasher? No, no, it's called the washing machine. And I'm is, sorry. I, it's all I remembered was the hip gyration. <laughs> this is Edward James Olmos's favorite part of the whole movie is the washing machine. Except, and I'll even show it for you, to you if uh, you will do it with me. If I know, Edward has to do it. That's me. You come with us. Okay. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay. You think you can do this action? Elizabeth, you gonna do it? Edward, yeah. I'm mad at you for this. <laughs> I am mad at you. Can you come down there? Okay. Now, you start with your right foot, mm -hmm. okay? And we're gonna go around in a little circle, make a little circle with your hips, leading with the right hip, and it's called a washing machine. And this is Eddie. Go ahead, watch. There we go. Okay, you start, and you make a little circle there. You oh, know. yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's got the hands going. Talk about the body. There's a lot of that in the stage. Thank you. <laughs> Did you love it?
While in Los Angeles, guests of the Lisa Show stay at the trendy, full-service Beverly Plaza, a boutique-style hotel bordering Beverly Hills and West Hollywood. Quality Check dairies have higher than industry standards. Our mark is your guarantee. Reach for the top. Quality Check. Higher standards, fresh taste. Oh, what a good time we had today. I want to say thanks to all of my guests. We have really enjoyed it. Uh, a moving hour, a fun hour. The movie's got all that in it. Selena, the film, opens up tomorrow. That's the 21st. And I think this is a good movie to teach you about opening yourself up to all the possibilities in life and to really celebrate every day that we have, because that's certainly what Selena did. You are super talented. Thanks for taking time out to be with us. Thanks, best of all, to you. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. projects you guys are working on right now or after this? Um, <laughs> um, any of us? Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm working right now on a project called The Underworld. It's an NBC um, one-hour crime drama told from the criminal's point of view for once. <laughs> Very cool. Well, there you go. It's